All right, hi. If you have a couple of blocks, we're going to use them, um, of course, optionally, but we're going to use them for Supta Baddha Konasana. So you'll have the soles of your feet together, and you're going to drop your knees open, and the blocks help to support you. I'm Maeve, and I'm glad you're here. We have some breathing ahead of us in this moment, so just allowing your body to fall heavy into the floor so that you don't have to do any work there. That's going to free up a soft belly for deep and full inhales. And the reciprocating exhale. a sense of how you feel energetically in your body, the nature of your thoughts. And in today's practice, really taking care of yourself, making sure that you feel supported, a sense of ease. Draw your knees in together. Hug your knees into your chest. Your left foot comes back down, right ankle crosses to your left thigh. Stay here. This is beautiful. If it feels good, you're going to lift up. I'm holding my left hamstring with both of my hands. your legs in this shape. Just put your left foot back down if it came up. Slide your right thigh over your left thigh. Drop your knees to the left. If you want to kind of shift your left hip a little bit to the right as you twist, you can do that. If it feels good, left hand comes to your left, sorry, left hand comes to your right hip and gently presses the hip away from the heart. back to center, place the right foot down, and then cross left ankle to right thigh. And you might consider just staying here. If this is more peaceful and you're still getting some feedback on your hip and you just like being there, be there if you want. Lift the legs up, you can hold the hamstring or the shin. I like to start at my hamstring and then move to my shin if it opens up.
going to give you minimal instructions today just so you can enjoy some quiet and have your own path and your own journey in your, in your head. Place the right foot back down, slide the left thigh over, shift the hips if you want, and twist. Knees right. Happy here, stay here if you want. Walk your feet a little bit wider, drop your knees into each other. Make your way to child's pose. Your knees can be wide, your knees can be narrow, your big toes can be together, apart. Really make this feel good on your body. I want you to know there's no only one way to do this, there's many, many ways. Inhale, rise. You know, circle off to the right side, and back. Come back around, and off to the left. And back around. And just go side to side here. One more time to the left. Come back through center, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. If you have blocks, maybe get them to the top of your mat. Breath in and then right foot forward with your exhale. Blocks are awesome here. Hands down, back leg strong for about five breaths. Arms strong, shoulders bracing. Inhale, lift your hips, straightening the legs any amount. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, lift. And soften. Inhale, up. Exhale. Two more times. back knee down. I'm going to use a block under my left elbow. You could use two if you wanted or you could have a straight arm but it's kind of nice not being in your wrist here. And then bend the back leg. I'm actually going to use two because it gives me so much more space. This is optional. This cat to the back foot is optional. 
maybe take the right foot wider. Have the foot, release it. Hands come around. Plank, inhale. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale, left knee forward. Step your foot forward. Blocks if you've got them. Heart stretches forward. Back leg strengthens arms like pillars. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, soften. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. back knee down. I'm going to use my blocks, both stacked up. Elbow down. You can stay here. If you want, bend the back leg, find your foot. Maybe left foot wider. have the foot release it arms come around plank inhale lower to your belly carefully slide the elbows forward sphinx stay and breathe Off and down, slide your right elbow straight out to the side, look to the left, and roll onto your right side. Gently press the right hand, the right elbow, the forearm into the floor to stay connected and not passive. Consider bending the top leg, putting the foot behind the bottom leg. And then maybe using your left hand for a little leverage. And then we'll go into the other side. So left elbow reaches out to the side, look to the right. Gently press that left arm down and roll onto your left side.
position to bend the top leg and bring the foot behind the bottom leg. Come back into center. Back to Sphinx, elbows down, press down, pull the heart through, tops of the feet press down. Lift the elbows, take them wide, press back child's pose. Rise to hands and knees, cat's pose. Pause here. Stay in flexion. Push the floor away. Keep the back rounding. Draw the heart forward, cow. And then lower the elbows down. Palms together, drop the heart down. Draw the hands back, any amount. Draw the belly up. Inhale, lift up gently. Take your right arm forward, strengthen the arm. Left arm reaches under. Press the back of the left shoulder down, the hand, the arm, and then gently pull back. Slide your right hand in, push down, left hand comes around, walk the hands forward again, elbows drop down and pull through. Extend the left arm overhead, firm it, right arm reaches through. Draws in, push down, rise up, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, left knee down. I'm going to use a block under my left hand just for a little bit more space and twisting here. This time, reaching the arm to the sky. If it's okay, reach the arm behind your back and take the back of the right hand to the outer left hip. You can kind of lift the hip up just a little bit and then hug the forearm in toward your back.
Last breath in. Reach the arm back. Straighten the front leg and adjust the hand back as much as you need to. And then reach the hands away from each other. A little rotation here. Right leg is straight. Very nice. Right hand comes around, maybe catches hold of this big toe, and then pull the heart forward. Maybe start to sink your hips back. And if you're comfortable doing so, and I know it's not for everybody, but you can sit your left hip right down onto your heel. And then you can bring this block back with you, and then just see if you can lift up here. And you've got this block to kind of give you some support here. up, place the foot back down, front knee bends, downward facing dog. The left foot comes forward, right knee down. I'm going to put my right hand on the block, turning open so, so, so spacious. Option to bring the left arm behind, and then I'm giving the back of my right hand pressure against my, sorry, back of my left hand pressure against my right hip. Hug the forearm toward the back of your body. long. Straighten the front leg. And slide the block back wherever you need it. And bring the left hand around. Maybe take that big toe. Use your block as much as you need to. Maybe shift back. And then possibly lift up. give a little bit of an ankle stretch too here. Foot, ankle. Come forward, rebend. This time, turn to the right side of your mat, Prasarita, Padottanasana. If you want, you can use your block to support your head. If your head is pretty far off the ground, that can feel nice so that you can kind of close that chain or just be here. Any arm variation that you like. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hands to your hips. Rise to stand. Beautiful. Turn the right toes open. Block on the back of your right leg. Triangle. Really simple triangle.
inhale, rise up. Pivot the feet. Block. Triangle, second side. Heels and toes open. Arms to your inner thighs. Gentle inner thigh stretch here. Really your inner knees. That's where your arms are. Stretches your inner thighs. give you the option of using a wall for this next bit. I happen to have a wall right behind me, so it's very convenient if you are not equipped with a wall. It's okay. Inhale, rise all the way up, and then bring the feet in together. So we're going to practice Ardha Chandrasana using a wall so that it's a little less energy, it's a little less work. But with that said, if you prefer it without the wall or you just don't have a usable wall, so be it. Have your block pretty close to the wall. You'll have yourself fairly close to the wall. Give yourself a little bit of space so that you're not bumping yourself right off. You're just gonna tip over, hand to the block, and then you get to lean back against the wall so that the wall does some of the work, but also just gives you a point of reference of where your body is in space. So it's kind of the way we would use the floor. Soften the standing leg and rise up. Beautiful. Set yourself up on the second side. So toes turn. Block down and lift up. Soften your standing leg, rise up, beautiful. And back into Prasarita, Padachanasana, bringing the feet wide, hands down. Stay here, or you can start to walk the feet wider, straddling. And you can use your blocks under your forearms or just bring your elbows down. You can take this as wide as you feel comfortable.
are in Prasarita Padottanasana. You're going to come to your knees slowly. If you're in a straddle, you'll come back in slowly. And then we're all going to bring our knees down. And the feet stay wide. If you need a little padding for your knees, go for it. And then you gently press the hips back. And that gives you a little deeper stretch. Listen to your body. Be kind to your knees, to your hips. forward, bring the feet in toward each other, and then slowly knees in, and child's pose. And come around to sitting. Legs out wide. And first, just feel yourself here. Give yourself a little lift through the spine. Press the heels down, rise up through the heart. Bring one foot in, doesn't matter which one. Lean off toward the straight leg. you want with this other arm. If you want, you can kind of give some pressure into this opposite thigh. If you want, you can bring the arm overhead, behind the back. Bring your hand down, just reach up and over, and then around. Come back around, release your leg, second side. around to center, soles of your feet together, Baddha Konasana.
rise back up and find a block come to your backs take your block bridge your hips up place the block under your hips and pause here it's okay palms to the sky maybe arms up like field goal arms or cactus or whatever you want to call it but wherever you feel comfortable with the arms where you feel stable stay here or extend the legs out straight on the floor so the heels are on the floor the feet back in. If it's okay, stay on the block. Adjust it if you need to. And then pick up your knees. And if it feels okay, extend the legs up. Bend the knees, bring the feet back down, pause, push your feet down, bridge your hips up, remove the block, and then pause here. any one thing that you need before we get quiet, do it now, otherwise just extend your legs out. Allow your eyes to soften. Allow your body to soften, your breath. Just take a moment here to float, to quiet and still.
deep in your breath. Bend your knees. Roll to your right side. Pause. Enjoy your breath. Rise to sitting. Bring your hands into prayer, your heart. Take this moment, feel how you feel. Bow your mind to your heart. Rise and open your eyes. Thank you.